Uh, the equities market closed on a flat note as uh, the oil shell index closed at 41,814.94 basis point against 0.12% uh, appreciation, appreciation recorded previously. It year to date, however, returns currently uh, at 3.83%. Uh, market breadth closed positive as a PZ led 21 gainers against uh, 21 losers topped by ABC Transport at the end of uh, uh, trading on uh, Tuesday. An improved performance when compared with previous outlook. So let's look at market turnover closing positively. Uh, the volume moved up, uh, but I mean moved down, right? At 47.63% against 32.21% uptake recorded in previous session. But let's look at the stock of the FBN holding, Guarantee Trust Bank and Uni uh, insurance were the most active to boost market turnover. The FBN holding and guarantee a topped market value list. So the Nigerian bureaus leads the uh, list of uh, active stocks that recorded impressive volume spike at the end of trading section yesterday. So let's look at uh, what is trending in the market and the sentiment dominating the activities in the equities market. Ambrose Omodian, Chief Research Officer, Investigate Consulting Limited, joins us via the telephone now. Thank you for your time, Ms. Ambrose, for, for joining us once again. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Mm. So let's look at the activities yesterday. Uh, of course, we'll get to the currency market in a moment. The Naira is still down. Uh, but let's look at the activities at the close of yesterday. We've seen the stock of FVN have been in the news uh, going up uh, since uh, last week. Well, so how do you make up the fact that um, the investors, really, uh, the new investor was to take about 5% of the bank? Um, I mean, that, that's, I don't know. How, how that is going in the market. So what's the mood of investors, perhaps? Yeah, actually, you can see that uh, the FGM holding and the government investors too, looking mm. at the volume that's been you know, traded for almost uh, more than uh, four weeks now, there's, uh, there's opportunity there too. But I'll tell you, there's a little slowdown in the price appreciation. And right. For two reasons, and for two reasons, not because the, the momentum has gone out, no. But what? Investors are looking at to see the third quarter result of the company, of the of the holding company. At the same time, you no, know, the the individual, you no know, highest holding, uh, you no know, shareholders in the company are also looking at what to do. And don't forget that we don't expect them to do volume now because all of them are, well, are also like insiders who uh, the close period of the bank to make their third quarter were afraid to do volume. But apart from the the new man. That is not an insider because there's an outside investor who mm. will have the opportunity to buy, want to buy now. But either that person in the, in the, in the already in the, in the company that also is an insider can buy stock now. That is why it's a slowdown in the, in the momentum. What is attracting the stock is still there, it's because the volume is what you can look at. But we are not seeing more volume now because the big players are constrained because of the close period of the bank. At the same time, the market players in the team better are looking at to see the third quarter if we for that jump into the company. Now looking at results that came from GTP, now a lot of investors we are looking at are why GTP declined in their third quarter. But for that, they are going to look at uh, other results that are coming. That's why they need to know kind of uh, a, a, a pullback or a quiet situation or moment in that stock for yesterday. But I believe that once their result comes to the market, third quarter and beat market expectation, that is also when the the insiders or 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 call the uh, stakeholder in the company will start buying again. That mm. will come back to the to the bank. And I believe because they cross a big volume at sixteen naira, the person that is trying to touch that sixteen naira or even surpass it is high. But for those that are buying the stock around eleven naira, twelve naira, I think this is not time for them to panic. Or rather they wait to see if the stock will touch around fourteen fifteen. They can start coming start coming up but the numbers of this bank. How are the investors reacting to the news that uh, uh, you know Mr. Otedola will be taking five percent? Uh, I mean, will be taking up five percent acquisition of the um, shares of the bank. I mean, how does that impact on the performance of the stock? Yeah, Will be that the price will go up. Look at the, I know, I think 
invested where the man have invested before now. Right. The price of those people will move from where the US when they came in to a higher price. And also some scholars are saying that, oh, the way he managed, the way he has gone before that, most time when he's, he's living, that those that he attracted to such companies are already hooked there. Because he discussed this with people that are coming in and sell at a good price. Why do that are there because of him also in that Singapore? The question is something like uh, four thousand years before it was changed to Adova, that he exited at a good price. Why investors then saw the price crash and for them to exit? Interesting. You know, he's an investor that knows why he's there. I also don't forget that in Nigeria today, as we speak, in, or in Africa, you know, during this period of waiting, every you know, billionaire in Nigeria, outside Africa, want to consolidate their position mm. before they start trading them again for 2021. For that, if he's coming there, you know, he might also be a plus for those that are already there. Mm. It's, a good, it's a good development for the market. And such, uh, and such things can quite happen in other banks. Mm. It's all right. L let's wrap it up with this uh, th in 30 seconds. Uh, uh, the activities in the currency market, uh, we've seen the Naira declining uh, by 0.01%, uh, despite the CBN's intervention. So how do you address it? Actually, you know, uh, the currency issue in Nigeria, I think uh, it will go beyond just uh, CBN alone. Right. And uh, I think uh, the government also should come in here and the react to CBN and other you know, uh, banks, especially the banks, should also help out here. Even the bully chain, all of them have the role to play on this. Because you can see that the price is go to around uh, 575 80 That's when the bid stable there, you no, know, has not gone up there. That means if CBN is able to put all their mechanisms to go down together uh, uh, now and let it work effectively, we might see a little pullback in that kind of price. Right. Because of the demand or the pressure on a, on a, on FS in Nigeria is mm. high. That is why I believe in school of thought. I said once that good smart uh uh come on board and we we'll depend less on importing much uh food to Nigeria, finished product, that will help us to conserve our 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 efforts, which is good. And also, if a government can also go ahead, but it's not really good at Languti, start uh, you know, making up that all those, uh, 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 what's it called, the modular refinery, or the, I don't know what they call them, all those small refineries in Nigeria. Yes, the modular refineries. Correct, modular refinery. If they begin to come up on stream and they become active, we will we'll begin less, but that will mean that we we'll are able to start exporting to other African countries. Right. Within, within, I think that will be good. If that is Interesting. Big, with time, this new time, this uh, uh, currency will start coming down. It's because the demand is high. That's what we're seeing. It. There also, the good thing is that despite the demand and uh, also oil price is high, you can see that our reserve also is looking up. Mm. That means government is going to bring the intervention yeah. to that intervention, um, you know, intervention on the foreign exchange market. For me, let's see what time things will stabilize very soon. Mm. Just because we know that this also kind of a, a quarter that is, there's always a high demand. I think, yes, I, 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 I think we should leave it there. Thank you so much, Ambrose Amodio, a Chief Research Officer at the Invest Data Consulting Limited. Thank you for your time on the program.